Hello and welcome to this Android Studio and Kotlin tutorial. I'm Cal and today we're going to be building a BMI calculator. BMI stands for Body Mass Index and it's just a pretty simple calculation that takes in your height and your weight and based on those two numbers we are going to give you a number and then based on that BMI, that number, we can determine whether or not your weight is in uh, underweight, healthy, overweight or obese range. So a definite beginner project, we're not going to be doing anything too fancy, we're just going to be using a couple of number pickers and some labels. So if you're new to Android Studio and you want to begin a project to get started on, then a BMI calculator is a great project to help you learn the fundamentals of Android Studio. Cool, so I'm just going to create a new Android Studio project, select Empty Activity, hit Next, we're going to give our project a name and I'm just going to call it BMI Calculator. Programming language is Kotlin and we're not going to worry about the minimum SDK, just leave that on whatever it is. Cool, and the first thing we're going to do is head into the build gradle and enable view binding. This is the most modern way that we are going to link our view with our backend code. So we're just going to type build features and then curly brackets view binding true and then hit sync for our project. So we can close that off now and head into our main XML. This is where we define what the view should look like for the user. And there's a bunch of different widgets and layouts that we can use or tools to help us build that. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna change this layout to a linear layout. Set the orientation to vertical and the gravity is going to be top and center. And you can see what that's done to the text. It's put it in the top and in the center. I'm gonna change this text to be BMI calculator just as a bit of a title. The style, I'm gonna say at Android style, and I'm gonna choose this material headline. And so this style is just gonna define things like the text color and the font weight and font size. We're gonna give our header a bit of padding, so 30 DP. And then below that, we're gonna add in another linear layout. This linear layout, we're going to make it horizontal and it's gonna contain our two pickers. So we're gonna put in uh, some padding as well as the gravity of center. Inside here, we're gonna add a text view with a width and height of wrap content. Our text size is gonna be 20 SP and this one, we're gonna just say height. So this is gonna be for our height number picker. We're just gonna give it a label and just give the style to be uh, this material body. And if we add in below our text view, we're gonna add in a number picker with a width and height of wrap content. An ID, we're gonna give it a height picker and we're also going to give it margin horizontal 5dp just so that our labels sit a little bit off. I'm going to copy and paste down our text view and just put another one which is going to be our centimeters and just so just changing the text there and now we can copy and paste down our entire picker and we're just going to change this to weight. I'm going to change the ID and I think we just need to give it a little bit of margin to the front so just giving that 15dp from our weight text view. Cool so below both of our pickers we just want to have somewhere where we can put the results of our BMI calculator. So I'm just gonna create a text view with width and height wrap content. ID is results text view, padding 10dp. And we're gonna steal our headline style from our header. And we're also gonna copy down that text view because we wanna have somewhere where we can put in whether or not we're in the considered healthy range. Cool, and I think that just about does it for our view. So if we head into our main activity.kotlin, First thing we're gonna do is link all of what we've done in our view. And the most modern way uh, Android wants us to do it is through view bindings. So we're gonna declare a private late init variable called binding. This binding is of type activity main binding, which is our activity main view. So then in our onCreate, after super onCreate, we're gonna say binding is equal to activity main binding inflate. And we pass that through layout inflator and then we can set our content view with our bindings root. Because our binding is of type activity main binding, it has access to all of the different widgets that we created in our main XML. So the first thing we're gonna do is reference our bindings weight picker, and we're gonna set a min value of 30. So we're gonna say that you need to be at least 30 kilos and a max value of 150 kilos. And we're gonna do the same thing for height pickers. So 100 centimeters is the minimum and 250 is going to be the maximum. And if we build and run this, you can see that our pickers are displaying on our screen and we've got a max and min height. Next, what we wanna do is have some sort of on change listener. So we're gonna say our binding weight picker set on change listener. And you can see down the bottom here, it takes in three variables. So the picker itself is gonna be the first one and then it's gonna be our old value and the new value, but we don't actually care about any of this because we're gonna reference it off our binding. So we're just going to put in uh, underscores for all three of those variables and just call our calculate BMI function. This is a function that we're just gonna create below our onCreate, so a private function, 
uh, just called calculate BMI. We're gonna call the same calculate BMI function whenever a value changes in our height picker. And then inside our calculate BMI function, we're just gonna say height is equal to our height picker's value. So whatever is the current value and that returns an int. So what we wanna do is say height to double. So turn into a double, which allows decimal places and divide that by hundred. And we actually need to make this into its own variable. So we're just gonna call this uh, val double height. So height as a double. And then we're gonna say weight is equal to our binding weight picker value. Now below that, we can calculate our BMI. So we're gonna say BMI is equal to our weight to a double. And then we're gonna put some brackets and say height times height, so height squared. And we actually need to make that our double height. Then we're gonna set our results text view text to the results that we've got because we've now calculated our BMI. So we're just gonna say string format, your BMI is, and then we're gonna say percentage dot two F. And so when we put in a comma, we can actually pass in the percentage two F that is gonna recognize and substitute that out for our value. So whatever the BMI is calculated to. And then we're gonna set our healthy text view to considered and we're just gonna create a healthy message based off of our BMI. So we're gonna create a function for this, which receives our double BMI and returns a string. So at the bottom, we're just gonna return obese. And then at the top, we're gonna to say, if our BMI is under 18.5, it's considered underweight. And then if it's under 25, so if it's between the range of 18.5 and 25, we're gonna call that healthy. And if it is underneath 30, then that is considered overweight. And then obviously anything more than 30 is gonna be considered obese. Cool, so let's build and run this and see if it's working. And I can see that I've forgotten to change the label from centimeters to kilos. So let's go into our main XML and change that. Cool, so with that rerun, we can try and enter in some values. So I'm just gonna put in a height of 177. And as I scroll up, you can see our BMI is getting calculated and we're going through the underweight a uh, healthy range and an obese. So there you have it. They say you build a very simple BMI calculator in Android Studio using Kotlin. I hope you've learned something today and I'll catch you guys in the next one.